Hello, today I will uh, show you how to crochet the mini corner to corner crochet. Um, so if you're familiar with regular corner to corner crochet, um, I mean it would be enough to say that the only difference is that for the mini corner to corner we will be using the half double crochet instead of the double crochet. However, in this video we'll assume that you don't know how to corner to corner crochet, so we will start from the start and we will see each step uh, for creating uh, this uh, square. So why did I draw a, a chart with all these uh, little squares? So because basically with, me, uh, with corner to corner, in this case mini corner to corner crochet, uh, what we do is to crochet little blocks of, um, well for the mini corner to corner, half double crochet stitches. So we crochet um, these blocks, so I'm not sure if you can see. Um, so basically this square would be a block of two half double crochet stitches. And these two, each one of them is two half double crochet stitches. And these uh, squares are interconnected with each other with slip stitches. And the way we crochet them, so the reason why it's called corner to corner crochet is that we start from this corner and then we go in diagonal, so we go this way, well, this is just one square, and then we go this way, for we follow this diagonal, and then the next one, and the next one, like back and forth, uh, until we reach these two corners, and then we start decreasing until we get to this other corner. So we basically go from one corner to the other corner of our project. Uh, so there are two main things to keep in mind. There is one way to work uh, when you want to increase, so when you want to add one square per each row that you make. So because you see here we have one uh, one little square, then we have two, three, and so forth. Um, and then there is another way uh, that you work this stitch when you need to decrease uh, squares at each row. So for example, you see here we would have four, and then three, then two, and then one. So there are these two uh, steps to keep in mind. Um, and we will see how to then to increase and how to uh, decrease. Oh, there, there is one uh, more thing that I want to say. So I um, I will be showing you one way. Uh, so this is my favorite way of crocheting the uh, mini corner to corner stitch, which is by uh, starting each one of these uh, little boxes with a chain one. However, there are also other tutorials online, and uh, well, I've also used it in the past, so it's another uh, way of crocheting it, that is by starting with a chain 2 at the beginning of each of these squares. So here you can see one example. So what is the main difference? The difference, of course, is that like the space between these squares is uh, bigger. Is, you see, you have larger holes in between each of these uh, little boxes compared to this one where everything is a bit more uh, compact so it really depends on um, what you what you like if you want to decrease these uh, spaces in between uh, boxes you could also let's say go down in hook size but since i like uh, my fabric to be soft i don't like very stiff stitches i prefer to use this technique where the the gaps between squares are just decreased by you know, chaining one less uh, chain at the beginning of these uh, of these squares. Um, so why I'm saying this? So for these two squares, I used the same uh, yarn weight, which is iron weight yarn, and I used a, a 5.5 millimeter hook. So now I could have just used a five uh, millimeter hook, or I don't know, a four and a half. But um, I really like working iron weight yarn with the five and a half millimeter hook, and you see that. Um, with this technique, I can just simply obtain what I like. So for this tutorial, uh, now we will make one square like this, but I will be using a uh, green yarn, which is uh, nice. And still I will be using a 5.5 millimeter hook. So let's get started. And um, so to make it easier for you to follow where we are on this chart, uh, for each uh, little step that I make, I will show you which one of these squares we are making and which diagonal we're following. So for the beginning, we will just be making uh, this box, so this uh, square here. So let's see how to start. So we make a slip knot, and we chain three. One, two, and three. So then uh, we just yarn over, we go into the second chain from the hook, 
here and we make a half double crochet then we do one more half double crochet into the next stitch to the next chain and we are done this is our first uh, our first square so let's mark it down on this chart i will be coloring boxes as you know on the way um, so now once we have the first square done we have to go to the next diagonal and make these two squares so basically we have to um, we have to work one increase so the way you increase in uh, corner to corner and like mini to mini corner to corner is by again chaining three so we start again with these three chains and again we make two of the crochet so we go into the second chain from the hook we work one of the crochet and then another half the crochet into the next into the next chain okay so now that we have these uh, two squares Notice that both these two squares are on the right side. So this is still the right side of the first uh, box that I worked, and this is also on the right side. So now keep take the um, take the first uh, square that we worked, so this one, and flip it. So basically, this way you see this is our initial chain one. So it's a bit difficult to see, of course, because it's uh, just one chain. So, but basically what you do is you take this chain one space and you bring it close to your hook. And then you insert your hook into this chain one space and you work a slip stitch. So what we did here now is we basically joined these two squares and what we have is this situation. So you see, uh, this was our first uh, square. Well, you also recognize it because you have the tail here. And now we did this uh, box here okay and now all we need to do is to crochet this uh, next box however this time we're not at the beginning of the row so all we do is to chain one to get elevated and then we do two after double crochets inside of this chain one space from the first box one and two and this is it it's done okay so once uh, this diagonal is done uh, so we color this square as well because this is done now uh, we can go on and crochet the next diagonal so again we will need to work uh, increasing our work so but this time we're gonna basically crochet on the wrong side so let's assume that this is our uh, wrong side so this first row was also on the wrong side of the work and the second one was working on the right side. Well, actually, with uh, when you work with just one color, there is no right or wrong side. Uh, but keeping this in mind uh, will help you um, later on when you will want to crochet some uh, color charts and so on. So let's start working again with uh, one increase at the beginning. So we do the same. We chain three and again we work. Uh, two of double crochets so we go into the neck the second chain from the hook one of double crochet and two of double crochet so now again you see that we are in this uh, odd situation so basically here now we flip again so we flip the work okay so that we are we have the hook just in front of our uh, chain one space from this last box that we worked so we go into the chain one space and we anchor these two squares together so basically now we are in this situation okay so if we turn we just worked this square here okay so now we will go and continue so we chain one to start the next uh, the next box and we work two of double crochets inside of this chain one space where we made the slip stitch you see this one is done and then again we join this this box that we just made with the next one by making a slip stitch into the chain one space of that box and again we chain one to start and we work two 
half double crochets inside of that chain one space. And there we go. So we made also this other one. And I told you so this uh, would be our wrong side. So when we turn, this is what we have at this point. So now again, we will start and we will make um, another, we will start with uh, increasing one because we need to work now, you see, four, uh, four squares this time. So we still need uh, to increase and increasing now, you got the angle of it is always the same. So we start with a chain three. We make two half double crochet starting from the second chain from the hook. One and two. And again, take your work, you flip it so you get close to this last box that you work, and you slip stitch into the chain one space of that box. And then, okay, so now just to make it slow, we made this. Okay, now we're working on the right side, so the way you have it, it's like this. So we chain one to start the next box. And we make, there you go, we um, anchor this box into the next one with a slip stitch into the chain one space. We chain one and we make two half double crochets inside of the chain one space. So basically, see now we worked this one, this one. We anchor again this uh, box into the next one, chain one, and two half double crochets inside the uh, chain one space. Okay. So this is basically, this is how you increase uh, your work at each row. So now we will see again uh, the next one together so that it's clear. So this time you see we are at uh, row uh, five. So we have five squares to work and these are going to be on the wrong side. So we will start from this one and go this way. Again, to start is always the same. We chain three. We have to double crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then we have to double crochet into the next. Flip your work and slip stitch into the first chain one space in front of you. Chain one to start. Okay, so this one would be this box here. Okay, so let's uh, just make it extra clear. So when you turn, this is, we work this square here. Okay, we go on, we make this square, then this one, we continue. So we make two half double crochets, slip stitch, chain one. Two of the crochets for this box. Again, slip stitch. Two of the crochets. And we work the last square here. Okay. And here we go. So we are done also with this row. So because this box is this one and we work the the ones in between. All right. So basically uh, when you need to increase, so until we get to these um, two corners is always the same. You start with a chain three, you make uh, the first box, you flip your work, you anchor and so on. Um, so let's uh, say you continue and we will meet once you get to this uh, to this row. So this would be our 11th row, okay? Because we have like, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have to get to this, um, to this diagonal before we start uh, decreasing. So I'll meet you once we get here. 
And there we go. So here we are at the end of uh, row 11. Um, so double check that you have uh, 11 squares. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Uh, so this is where we are right now. Okay, so we did this first part, so the increase part. Now we will start seeing um, how to decrease, uh, which is different, of course. The way you start your rows uh, is different than what we saw so far. So we don't uh, chain 3 anymore. Instead, what we do is chain 1, we turn our work, and we work 2 slip stitches into these uh, 2 half double crochets from the last, um, from the last square. Okay, and so now basically you just uh, chain one and you work your first box. So you see, because we have to create this straight side. So basically the first box is going to be worked into this chain one space here. Okay. And there you go. And again, then you start and you work like you did uh, before. So just to make it clear, we see. And um, so this is the diagonal that we will be working now in this direction. And uh, right now, so let's change color for decreases. Right now, we work this box here. Okay, and we will go in this direction. So for this first row of decreases, we need to have 10 squares. So working the central uh, squares, the central uh, stitches here, is the same as we what we did so far. So the only difference is the beginning and the end. So we saw the beginning. And we will see uh, what is different at the end of this row. So now look at this. Here we are at the last at the last square. You see the last space that we need to fill. So if you notice here, let's count the squares that we worked. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you see this is the tenth one. So basically we don't need to add one more um one more square in, on top of this because when we were working our increases at this point we would still chain one and work one extra box here instead here on the when we are working the decreases we don't need to work an extra box there you know because that would be an increase again uh, well you would have to do that if you're working a rectangular piece but in this case for a square where we are decreasing you don't need to do that so Basically, here we are done with this uh, with this uh, row because we got to this uh, last square. So now we can see again how to work the next um, the next diagonal. So we will start from here and we will go up to the other corner there. And again, it's going to be the same as we just saw. So here you just chain one. You turn your work and you make two slip stitches into these two half double crochets from the last uh, box you worked. Okay, so you have this uh, straight side also here. Okay, and then you start working your squares like uh, you did so far. So we chain one. And we make two half double crochets inside of this chain one space. And slip stitch into the next box. Chain one. And this is the last uh, square that we work for this row. So now if you count back, you'll see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay? So again, we don't add this extra square on top here, 
but we stop because you see we are making this straight side here and we continue like this uh, also for the next row so for the next uh, row we will be working in this direction okay so starting from here we go this way and then you continue like this um let's see once more how to work decreases so we chain one turn slip stitch into next two stitches chain one and after double crochet two into the chain one space from that last box you worked and you continue like this so in this row you will have eight then in the next one you will have seven boxes and so on and uh, i'll meet you later on and uh, to show you how it looks like once you get uh, to the opposite corner all right so now i just finished to crochet this uh, diagonal so you see we're really getting close to the last corner so i just want to show you uh, what it looks like at this point so now together we will work this diagonal here okay so just you know to have a nice uh, finish together uh, so one and two chain one and for this row we only have two boxes to work one and two we slip stitch into the next uh, chain one space and we're done so now we only need to work this last corner here and we do the same as for the other decrease rows so we chain we slip stitch we chain one and this is the last uh, the last square okay and that's it uh, we can uh, cut the yarn and uh, fasten off with a slip stitch uh, i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if something is not uh, super clear right now uh, maybe you can take a look at the step-by-step -step photo tutorial with written instruction that you can find on my blog and i will leave uh, a link in the description to this video um, i'll see you uh, in the next uh, video next week where uh, i will show you how to add a little bit of color into this uh, simple square uh, so we will be making a, a chart, a, a graph, uh, like this a sort of flower snowflake, so that you can learn how to uh, change colors and how to carry them on the wrong side of, uh, of the square. Um, so see you next week. Bye bye.